the Lord is the of savage nature to do something like that to another human being. So, but it seems like black people have no problem looking at a white man on a cross. That's right. That they can't stand to look at their black brother Check it out. being lynched. What it is is we have been taught to love everybody. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. We have been raised up in the churches. Yeah. The poison. That's what it is. That's poison to our people. The church, the white Jesus Christ. Right. We've been taught to love everybody. How can we love everybody when we don't have an ounce of love for one another? Exactly. We can only love everybody when we start loving ourselves first. So maybe I can extend my hand to love someone else after I love another to love someone else. You feel me? Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. Not only have they called me a racist, brother, but you have some Negroes in the so-called conscious community in different boroughs that will call me a government agent. Really? Just like they call Malcolm X a government agent. Right. Just like they call the honorable Elijah Muhammad at one time a government agent. Right. You got to understand, whenever you say in home, another one over here, just like they call my spiritual brother a government agent, you have to understand something. Whenever you have a black man that can stand up to the powers that be, that's not afraid of the white man, that can look him in his cold blue eyes and let him know who he is and where he come from. The people that's afraid of that is going to start saying, this man got to be an agent. How can he do what he do out there and nobody never mess with him? Right. Is he an agent? He's a government agent. And then they start spreading that rumor. Yeah, He's yeah. government. Government. Stay away from this. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's easy for us to tear down one another, man. Right, right. The agent got them using guns against each other. The agents got them wearing red and blue shit. They fighting each other because they two individual separate things. The agents got them being uh, 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 snitches on one another. You know what I'm saying? They got them confused. The agents got them in school learning the signs of Santa Claus and Easter and Happy New Year's and don't worry about slavery. See, all the brainwashing they done done already. So they don't really need no agent for going on. Uh, but they call that provocateurs to come into the, the, the uh, community to try to sell our people out. Yeah. They already got them blind, they've been dumb. So the agents, which is the super agent coming from Washington, D.C., the powers that be, they already done done their job. You see, so now it's our job to try to awaken these people and bring them back to the truth. Because they got everybody brain and head out there into the cloud. They wait for the mystery to come back. Well, let me ask you this. What do you think it's going to take? for black people to finally wake up. I mean, because like, we're, we're, our situation is so bad right now. We're killing each other off. They, right. they peddle, uh, they, they right. give us drugs to sell to each other. Uh, we can't even get adequate housing in our own community. We're on 125th Street. We don't own any of the stores. What do you think it's going to take for black people to finally wake up and say enough is enough? I would say what it's going to take is that when they, they, they're already feeling the fire. Okay. If the fire is going to come down, then they're going to start locking them in Kasha Kitchen camps. They might wake up then. And that's not my prediction. That's something that was written down by King Alfred okay. maybe 100 years ago. Right. It's called the King Alfred Plan, if anybody want to look it up. And, and, and it tells you in there how they had the um, countries separated off. How they would run to the leaders, and they would stick pins in them, and have them dealing with the order of controlling the people. In other words, taking them back on a plantation. So you think it might be really, really bad. They might. That's the only solution I have. Uh -huh. The solution that I have to that problem is unity in that right now. Uh -huh. Until they pull together with that and, and keep dealing with separation, it ain't going to be no problem. Because see, the black to know that the power that be is in the unity of the black, brown, red, and yellow. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know if they come together, that's the force that he can't reckon with. Okay. And that's why we out here teaching about all the great leaders from the past, the ones in the present, and making it known now. Right, right. You know? Until they understand that the original man is the Asiatic black man, the maker, the only queen of planet Earth, father, civilization, and God of the universe, they ain't going to realize nothing but illusions. They're going to go right back into the science of the matrix, trying to make something out of this material 
That's just him, the chick. Because everything came from the black man. All the 99 elements in the universe came from me and my body from his earth. Let me ask you yeah. this final question. Do you think black people are trying to emulate the European too much? Like all this materialism, uh, you know, just placing material things over human life? See, they're not imitating or emulating. They've been planted in them from how to make a slave going all the way back to Willie Lynch. See, Willie Lynch taught them this when they was babies. It says, can a devil fool a Muslim know not nowadays? And when I say that, that's in the lesson that the Uncle Elijah Muhammad had wrote pertaining to, when I say, can he fool them, those who have knowledge of something. See, they got them thinking that it's all about bling bling, having a lot of money in their pocket, a fast car, SUV. That's why I tell them about reparations. What's the sense in marching for reparations when the crack is printing money? You think he gonna allow you to have more than him? He might give you two billion and he gonna go twenty-four more billion. So I'm saying that to say this. I'm not saying that I don't want brothers stand in line and try to get it or get that money if they can. But I'm not with that because his face is on that dollar bill and until he come off the power of the throne of ruling, that shit ain't gonna mean nothing. Okay, why don't you introduce yourself one more? Going great through my legal law. Okay, you heard the nation of God and urge. I got knowledge in 1974, 8 29. People are now starting to really come around. They say this is the, uh, the year of information, right? This is the age of information. So our people are waking up slowly. We got pockets of consciousness all over the world, man. You know what I'm saying? We are not together. We are not going to come together because we look alike. We're going to come together because we think alike. That's what's going to bring us together. So when you see the constant people, you're going to see them in pockets. When you see the ignorance, you're going to see the pockets. You see what I'm saying? We all are separated right now. Okay. Because it was designed. The white man is a... The white man, a lot of us think that the white man is a dummy, is a fool, is ignorant. Yeah. The white man know what he's doing. Yeah. And he lived on science against us. That money that's left, that was science right there. Yeah, yeah. And when he broke that shit down, yeah. that was science. Yeah. So we sleep on him thinking, oh, the white man, he's just the devil. He don't know what he's doing. Exactly. exactly. He know exactly what he's doing. Yeah. He know he's doing what he's supposed to do. Right. So that means God got to do what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. Raising the conscious level of our people. Some people will say, what the hell are you doing, son? What can you do? You ain't gonna do that. What the hell you think of? You expect me to pick up the goddamn T-shooter and run him to the precinct and start shooting people? Right, right. And then when I'm going over here, who's gonna lay in control? Who's gonna give them the information? Who's gonna step into my room and do what the hell I'm trying to do out here? So, we need to stop this. Do what we're doing, man. I'm not telling nobody or I'm not advocating to any of my people out there to pick up a goddamn gun and go run out there and kill white. I would never tell you to do nothing stupid like that. So pick up the gun here and work. You see what I'm saying? Get this gun first. Build this up. Don't you know that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan told us a long time ago that the greatest gun that we can ever have is our unity, man? Once we get that unity down, that unity is bigger than any outcome bomb in the world, brother. That unity, and that's what the, and the white man knows. That's why he had to put out his divided conquer. That's his number one weapon. It's a divided conquer. Not no goddamn atomic bomb. And once he could get a Negro or a black man to go against one another, he's already done this job. You see what I'm saying? We're going to get it back. What do you think like the movement five to ten years from now? Do you think that more and more people are going to start to wake up? Do you think there's going to be an actual yes, revolution? Sir. You know why they're going to wake up? Because let me show you something. Okay. The Father has planted the seeds, brother. Our spiritual brother has planted the seeds, man. I never had the opportunity to meet the Father. Or to meet, or to meet other brothers out here, man. Like the Father here. You feel what I'm saying? I never had a chance to meet the messenger. But he's planting the message. They see their physical is no longer on the planet, but they left the seeds in here. Just like the honorable Swap and the Zion Garvin said. You may have captured the lion, but I have left many cubs out there in the wilderness. I'm one of the cubs. These are the cubs, brother. You see what I'm saying? They are the cubs that's in the wilderness, man. Of course, we got ourselves moving. We ain't gonna always be on the bottom. We're gonna have to come back to the top. The scripture says, and I don't believe in the whole thing, but it says, as it was in the beginning, so it says to be in the infinite. Now, what beginning? The beginning of what? The beginning of the black man and woman, man. That's the beginning. There was a time when it was only the black man and 
woman walking on the face of the planet Earth. Everybody in the world came from the black man and woman. So that's why I struggle. It's mainly for my people. It feels like it's hard to convince black people that we came from greatness. Because in the conditions that we're in right now, they can't even imagine that we want to rule the planet. Let me just give them a small example. If they have an internet, not to say that everything is in that internet, but you have a book. Go to ancient Egypt. The white man that witness to this, that the pyramids and the speech is the oldest building from our planet. And we know for a fact that he'll tell you his Bible is 6,000 years old. And he found a, a, a species or some bones called the Tucana boy. The Tucana boy is what they gave him the name. He's supposed to be 2 billion years old. So now, if this black man at the time is 2 billion years old, how the hell you going to tell me that that don't predate Adam and Eve or Adam and Eve as they living it out today? So that's only dealing with, you know, the um, elements of what I just said. The pyramids and the sphinx, the oldest building on the planet Earth, and a black man built that. It wasn't no spaceship, wasn't no school out, focus, focus, mystery, spirit, you guard that building, it was a man. Yeah. And they got a black man in blood. Some way, they don't even know it. And then you don't be sick, but how do you be sick? You find how the bars, and they give you a book telling you a mystery guard on the stage. That's right. If you do that, though, check it out. Why don't you show me some of the tapes that you got over here? Okay, let me show you a powerful, powerful This right here tends to scare a lot of people. Okay. Especially when the white folks see it. They say, kill a white man. What do you mean by kill a white man? That's my spiritual mother right there. I let the baby. This is the one that really opened me when I first said it. Food for thought, one. And I called it. So I said, let me tell everybody know. And this is not what the God called it. When I saw it, I said, damn, I like that. It's food for thought, ball one. But I'm going to call it from God to Black Santa. That's what I did. I didn't name the name one. But like that's the original name is food for thought, one.